Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am kind of excited to be doing this video. It is a video that many persons would have loved to have been out a long time ago, but nonetheless, here it is. Today I am going to be doing a step-by-step -step, um, explanation as to how we go about putting those 10 pieces of portfolio um, documents into one document right to be handed up to cxc for marking all right um i tried my best to see how i can put that procedure on paper right because it is a, a kind of tedious step but nonetheless my job is to help to make edpm simple for you and so i would have written down those steps as best as i possibly could, can and um after which i've after I've gone through them, then I'm going to do the, the procedures with you from start to finish to help you to compile your portfolio pieces into one document. So here I have um, procedures for merging portfolio pieces. Now, the first thing that you need to do is that you need to open all 10 pieces of portfolio documents, including the cover page, the table of contents, the title page, and the bibliography. All right, so I have, I don't know if you can see it, but I have opened all 10 pieces of my documents here at the bottom. All right, um, so you're seeing them. All 10 pieces of my documents are there. And for those that can't hold at the bottom, I would have opened them, and then I would have copied the document to my clipboard and then closed it to get space because it's a lot of documents. So here is my clipboard with all the other documents that we will be using. All right, just gonna close that back a bit. Now, once you have done that, so you open all the work that you need to merge into one as it relates to the portfolio. The next thing that you need to do, all right, and again, this is these are my steps, my procedures, what I think can be done to get the job done, all right? So if anyone else can do your thing, do your thing. This is how I do it. All right, so the next thing is if the margins for some of your documents differ, then you need to write it down. And it's not if, the margins for the documents will differ, and that's why we have them on separate pages, all right? So the ones that are commonly different from the others would be your manuscript, if it is that you did it in the report format, all right? But if it is that you have it as a play or a specification, then it can stay the normal route, all right? So if you have the report form of manuscript, right? Um, for me, I have written down page one, top 1.5, all right? I didn't write the others, but um, left, right, and the bottom margin would be one inch. Now, please note also that as it relates to the report form of manuscript, it can be done where we have three different layers. We have the unbound, the top bound, and the left bound. So based on the type that you did, you will write the margin accordingly for page one and page two. All right. But I chose the easier way out and I use the unbound manuscript. All right. So that's my margin for the unbound manuscript. Now you will also need to set the margin for your invitation with menu or your program of an event and um, by default I just put everything at 0 0.5 inches all right as it relates to the will lease or higher purchase agreement that document will be done on legal size paper and so you will only need page one right because the page two will consist of your endorsement all right? but if it is that you did not use legal paper and you use A4 or letter size paper then you'll need to have your page one and your page two margins all right and this is it um after that we have the other legal document which will be the contract of employment which will consist of the same margin as the will and lease above all right and that margin is left will be 1.5 and right will be 0 0.5 for your page one and then you flip that for your page two so the left will now become 0 0.5 inches and you write 1.5 inches and i just talk with the top being the same for both pages although for the page when it can be 1.5 or 2 inches all right 
and then the bottom I did not write but that will be one inch. Now once you have written this down and you have that in front of you, the next thing you need to do is to open a new document that will be used to combine all the portfolio pieces. And once you do that, the next thing is to copy and paste all the documents in the order of your table of content. And this will be done by using section breaks at the end of each document to go onto the next page. All right. Or should I say the section break at the end of each page? All right. So because even if the document is two page, like the two page letter, you have to do a, um, a section break for page one and then for page two. But we work together. All right. And number five says once on a new page, format that page to match the document that will be placed on it and we need to ensure that this is done one page at a time now once we do that the next thing is that we'll carry out this procedure until the compilation is complete all right so i do hope that that procedure that explanation that i gave as it relates to the procedure was straightforward now let's get into doing this all right, so I'm going to start off by pressing Control N to open a new document. All right, and here it is. All right, so once the new document has been opened, I now need to start off by inserting all the various pieces from cover page straight down to bibliography in the order of my table of content. All right, so I'm going to start off first and foremost by inserting my cover page. Now, I would have saved that on my clipboard. So I'd let me bring up my clipboard and then go to that. All right, so here it is. I'm going to select it. And here it is. All right, so my cover page has been added. Now, the next thing I need to do is that I need to select, go to page layout and go to breaks and select. So you have page breaks. And section breaks. I'm going to go to section breaks and select next page. All right. I'm going to go back home and select the show hide for you to see what this looks like. So when I insert my section break here, you have section break next page. And it shows you where the section break was inserted and all the cursors on the next page. Now, being on the next page, I can insert the next thing that um, follows which will be my table of content. All right, so here's my table of content. Let me take off the show height for you to see that. All right, now my page numbers have not been added because all the documents are not here for me to number my page and to put in the page numbers. All right, so that would be another video um, because I'm foreseeing that this one will be lengthy with us doing what we're doing. So I'll do another video afterwards to add the page numbers and fix up the table of content. So here is a table of content. Let me just look at it quickly. All right, so it starts off with my title page. Then it has, remember it's 10 pieces. So we have the main heading, all right? We have letters, then we have two letters that comes under that heading, all right? So we're using shoulder headings here. So we have the two page block style letter and we have a circular letter with a tear off slip. Then we have the heading manuscript. Now remember that there are three types of manuscript that can be used. We can use a report form of manuscript. We can use a play with actors part, or we can use a specification. So whichever one you used, that's the name that you will have written here. Following that, we have the next heading, tabular work. All right. So we, for me, I have a rule tabulation with vertical heading. Remember, your document must have vertical or oblique heading, right? Um, it can have multi-columnar headings as well. All right, so following that, I'll have my committee documents, my two committee documents, a notice of a meeting with an agenda for the meeting and my chairman's agenda. All right, I'm sensing that I may need to adjust this because the names that are here in the table of content should be the same names that are on the actual documents. So when I'm doing that, I just have to cross-reference to ensure that the information is the same. Then I have display. Some persons will call it display work. All right, the two displays that I have for me, I have an invitation with a menu. Remember, you can do an invitation with a menu or a program of an event. So I chose the invitation with a menu and then you can do a flow chart 
or an organizational chart. I chose a flow chart. All right, then the final heading would be legal work. And there you'll have the will with endorsement. And it can be a lease with endorsement. Or it can be a higher purchase agreement with an endorsement. And then the contract of employment followed by the bibliography. All right, so that is my um, table of content. So all the documents will, I will now be attaching below will follow this order from my title page straight down to my bibliography. All right, so I'm here. I'm now going to go to page layout again. Go to breaks, section breaks, and select next. So it takes me to the next page. All right, so I'm now going to insert my title page. All right. And here it is, my title page. Following that, I'm going to go still at page layout, go to breaks again. And remember, I said that we do this one page at a time, right? Section break, next page. I'm going to select that. And now this is time for my two page letter. Let me close my clipboard. All right, so now it's time for my two page letter. Now, we have to do something a bit different as it relates to our header for the documents that follows. Bearing in mind that our in our header, we're going to have the name of the document and the name of the candidate. All right. And for our two page letter, for this now, we're going to have the letter head. All right. So to start off, I'm going to double click in my header. All right. And then you realize that. I have something highlighted here called linked to previous. So whatever I do here will be linked to the previous page. Nothing is there now, so it will not. All right, let me see. So I have that there, and then it shows on the previous page. I do not want that. So I'm going to uncheck link to previous. All right, and let me go back up there to see what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to take that off. I do not want it to be linked. All right. So I, this is my page, the page for my two-page letter. So link to previous has now been unchecked so I can do what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to look. Let me delete this. I'm going to now look for my two-page letter. Here it is. All right. So I'm just going to double-click in the letter, in the header, rather, and I'm going to highlight the name of the document my name and the letter here i'm going to copy that and i'm going to search back for the document that i'm merging and i'm going to press or oh, i'm going to select different first page here all right and i'm going to paste all right now i realize that one side paste i see link to previous i think maybe because i made the adjustment with a different first page so link to previous is now on. So let me go up the top to see. It's not there. But I'm still going to uncheck. Uncheck that. All right. You still have to keep checking. All right. So that is the, the header. All right. I'm going to close out. And I'm going to deal with the rest of the document. All right. I don't know. It took me to the top. So I going to deal with the rest of the documents. I'm going to go back to the letter and I'm going to copy my page one. I'm going to go back to the document and I'm going to paste it. All right. So that is it. All right. So once I've done that, I'm going to go to the end of the document attached. And I'm going to go to page layout, breaks, on the section break, next page. All right, it takes me to the second page. Now, if you realize the, let me double click here, the letterhead came on this page because it is now linked to the previous. So I'm going to uncheck that because I do not want it to be linked to the previous page. And I'm going to delete what is there. All right. Now, once I do that, the information should still be on the page before, which is what is there. So now I can fix my page how I want it. I'm going to go back to the letter. All right. And I'm going to double click in and pick the head of a page two. And I'm going to copy that and paste it there. 
All right, so go back to the document. And it's basically a lot of back and forth. All right, and I'm going to paste. All right, it should have a triple space after, so I'm going to enter again. Once I've done that, I'm going to close out, and then I'm going to go back to the document and copy the rest of the page two. All right, so copy, and then I can come to the document and I paste. And that is it for my blocked style letter or my two-page letter. I'm going to go to page layout, breaks, next page, and I'm going to do my, um, my circular letter. All right, so here I am on this page that's linked to previous. All right, so I do not want it to be linked to, pre to the previous page, so I'm going to uncheck that, all right, and delete it. So what I want now is the circular letter. So I'm just going to write it rather than go back and forth with the heading. So circular letter with tear off slip. All right, and I'm going to tab across and write the name of the candidate. All right, and this should be in Times New Roman font size 12. Remember, I said that we do each document, all right, individually. So it is going to take some time to collate, but it's all good when it's finished. All right, so that's all I need for that. So now I can go to look for my circular letter. Here it is, and I can copy the information and paste it there. All right. So there it is. So I'm now finished with that. All right. Um, I'm going to go to page layout, breaks, next page. And here we are, double click here. Now this will be my, I think my manuscript will come next. All right, so I have to change my margin. So I'm gonna write report because it's the report form of manuscript that I'm doing. Oh, let, hold on, let me uncheck link to previous. I don't want it to be linked to previous. And then I write what I'm writing. All right, so let me close out of this. And for this page, I'm gonna do my and margin so i'm going to go to page layout margins all right and we're going to go to custom margins now i would have said i would have written down my margin and we're using the for me i'm using the unbound manuscript so it is 1.5 for the top page top margin rather than one everywhere else and i'm going to say whole document and press ok all right so that is it for my manuscript i'm going to look for my manuscript now and paste that um, so I'm going to highlight just the page one, just the page one. All right, bearing in mind page two will have a different margin. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to look for the document and I'm going to paste it. All right, so it has now been pasted, right? All right so it's now pasted. All right, so let me look at that. So there it is. All right, um, now I'm on the second page, but I'm going to go where the day is on that, right, that day, and I'm going to go to page layout, and I'm going to go to breaks, next page, and here we are on the next page. Now we are going to adjust this, picking my header here, and link to previous has been highlighted. I do not want that. Take off the link to previous. All right, and we're just going to head up our page two for our manuscript. The name of the manuscript is the World Wide Web. So on my page two, right, I would have taught you that you could just have the numeral two being there, as well as the new thing is that the numeral two, a double space, and the heading for the manuscript. So I'm going to use the heading as well. World Wide Web. All right, so I'm going to use the heading as well. What did I do? All right. Well, 
Oh, good. So the World Wide Web, and you should have a triple space after. Let me check my show hide. A triple space after. And then, um, yeah, so that's good. I'm going to close out of the header. And then I'm going to set the margin for my page two. So page layout margins, custom margin, and it will now be one inch all around. All right, this point forward, apply to this point forward, okay. All right, and then I'm going to go back to my manuscript. It takes some time, guys, as I said before, but it's all good. Just need to have some patience. Highlight the second page of the manuscript, copy that, and then go back the document and paste it all right and that is it for that is it for the manuscript i am going to go to page layout. i'm still here all right page layout breaks next page all right so it has linked to previous again i do not want it to be linked to previous and i delete what is there the next thing that will come in is my tabular work all right, now my tabular work will be on landscape paper. So I'm going to go to um, page layout, orientation, landscape, and I'm going to head this up. All right, so I think I have a rule tabulation. With vertical heading. All right, so rule tabulation with vertical headings, and then I'm going to tap over for my name, or the name of the candidate. All right, I'm going to change this to Times New Roman, font size 12. And while I'm doing that, my tabular work would have been done in Microsoft Excel. So that is where I'm going to so I double click out of it. All right. Um, so I'm now going to go to Microsoft Excel for the tabular work that I have there. All right. So here it is. All I'm going to be doing is just copying and pasting. So I'm going to highlight it. Just the exact amount. I don't go into any extra column or row. Highlight. Right click. And I'm going to select copy. I'm going to look for the document. And I'm going to paste. Alright. That's all you need to do. It was done in Microsoft um, Excel. Copy and paste. Alright. My double space, my triple space. I'm seeing that there. My vertical headings. Good to go. Never mind the names. Alright. Alright. So this is my tabular work. Next, I'm going to select page layout and we'll do this for every page right breaks next page all right and then this page is on landscape i want it to be on portrait so you realize we're moving from landscape to portrait and we're setting margins accordingly good all right um, i'm going to take off the link to previous page and i am going to also head up so i think this would be my notice and agenda All right, and then I care of the name of it. All right, so close out of this. Search for the notice and agenda. All right, I'm going to copy. And I'm going to paste. All right, moving along nicely. I'm going to go to, you know it well, page layout, breaks. Next page, double click up here, uncheck link to previous, and this now will be my chairman's agenda. All right, oh, I had the agenda already. Chairman's agenda. And I check out of this, and then I'm going to copy 
my Cheerbun's agenda. I think I have it here. All right. Copy. And I'm going to search for the document and paste. Now, when I paste, you realize all my brackets jumped out of place. I just press tab to carry them over because I would have already set a tab stop, right? So just tap them over and they should be okay. okay. Moving along nicely. Uh -oh. All right, good. So that is it. Everything is okay. And then when you're through with all these documents, you're going to go back over to ensure that everything is okay before you send it to the teacher. All right, I'm going to go to page layout breaks, next page. All right. And I'm going to uncheck link to previous. After the chairman's agenda, I think this would be now be my invitation with a menu. So this will be on Lance, um landscape paper and it will also be our the margin will be 0 0.5 which inch all around all right and then this information and also need to insert let me close out of the all right let me head it up it will be a note invitation with menu all right I remember that this should be on my page one only. All right, my page one only. All right, so the next thing I need to do for this is that I need to ensure that I insert columns. So I'm going to close out of my header and go back to page layout and go to columns and select two columns. All right, so now that I've done that, the next thing I need to do is to locate my invitation with menu and start copying and pasting my information. All right, so starting off with my page one. All right, so the page one information has been copied and I'm going to paste that here. All right, I'm going to go down. All right, oh, I forgot I should not go down like that. I should go to page layout breaks next all right so here it is this is saying linked to previous and i do not want it to be linked to previous all right so uncheck link to previous and delete that information because the name should only be on your page one so let me close out so i'm now on my page two go back to the document see if i have anything on my page two i have a picture here all right, hopefully it can be paste based on the format that it was in a while ago. All right, it actually worked. So now I'm going to go on my page three. All right, so I'm going to enter until I go over on page three. And I'm going to go back to the document and copy the menu that is there on page three. And I'm going to paste that. All right. So this one came over with the border. So that is good. But for the others, I will have to. And this picture is not moving. So I'm going to go to my picture tools and select text wrap and square. But I can move it where I want it to go. All right. That normally happens. Then I'm just going to press enter for the menu that came over on page two to go back to page three. All right. So there it is. Uh, so the final thing I need to do with this is to copy the other borders to go around information. So I was going to copy this border on page four and see how best I can use it for the other pages. All right. So just drag it into position. All right. That's one. 
right? And you would have watched the video on um, invitation with menu to know how the borders are placed, all right? Because you don't have to have borders on everything. You can just have one border on your page one and that's it. All right, and I'm just adjusting this. Let me break this information. All right, good, looks better. All right, and then I'm going to go on page four and paste. All right, and the video is a bit lengthy, guys, but I'm trying to go through everything step by step. I do not want to miss out any one of the documents, all right, because I know you have to do it for everything. All right, so at the end of this, which is this page, I'm going to go to page layout. So that is it for that. Page layout, and I'm going to go to breaks. I know you know the ropes. Next page. All right, so here I am on the next page. I need to adjust it, right? So it is in landscape orientation. I need to put it back to portrait. What comes next? Oh, my flow chart. Put it back to portrait. I need to take it off two columns and put it back on one. All right, and that is it. So now I need to look for, I think I have it on my clipboard, my flow chart. All right, here it is. I'm just going to press space and paste my flow chart. All right, I'm going to undo that a bit. I did not, let me double click in the header, oh, this margin needs to be changed, it's still on the 0 0.5 inches. So page layout margins, so I'm going to set it for one inch all around. So this is my flow chart. All right, uh, let me see the header tools. It's there, linked to previous, so I'm going to uncheck that. All right, so it's flow chart, and then the name of the candidate to the right all right all right good so closing out of my header and i'm going to paste the flow chart again all right so here it is so this is a heading and that's my flow chart moving quickly so i'm going to now select um page layout breaks next page all right so this i think would be my legal document now so this will be my will i right, let me close the clipboard a bit let us deal with the will so let me double click here and unselect link to previous and then this i think my will with endorsement All right, so this is my will with endorsement. What else should I do? Go to page layout, and I would have had my margins in front of me. Oh, I need to select the size. So I'm going to put this on legal paper. All right. And I'm going to set my margin. So I'm going to select margin, and I'm going to go to custom margin. Now, the top margin would be at 1.5 inches. The left would be at the left will be 1.5 and the right will be 0 0.5 all right and the bottom will be at one i'm going to say this section i'm going to say whole document and press ok all right so my margin is now being set let me close out of the header all right good so here i am i'm going to now source go to my clipboard i think that's where i have this one and look for my will and paste it all right, so here it is again um, I need to ensure let me highlight it to see if everything is justified I'm going to select justify right and then once I select justify anything that does not go out to the margin I'm going to use my hyphens to carry that out all right all right so now that those lines are out, check everything to make sure that they start at the margin. Then I will check the attestation clause. So this also jumped in a bit with the brackets. I'm just going to tab over to line up everything. So just lining up everything. All right, good. So that is it. All right. This is just fits over a bit. All right, good. So that is my will. 
So I'm now do the endorsement. At the end of the word, I'm going to go to page layout, breaks, next page. Here I am. I'm going to turn. So this is still legal size paper, right? Um, but orientation will now be landscape. Let me double click. Let me close it here. Let me double click in the header. I do not want it to be linked to previous page. As a matter of fact, I don't need anything on that page. All right. Um, the margin I also need to adjust. I'm going to let it be one inch all around. All right. And what else for this? Columns. So I have to close out of the header to get the columns. So I'm out. Let me go now to page layout, columns, and select three columns. So basically, I'm going to be entering and in the center, column two, which is the center portion. All right, so I'm now there. I'm going to paste my endorsement. So I'm going to look for it and paste it in the center. And that's it, my will with endorsement. All right, so the next thing I am going to do, let me go, enter, go on my page three. Then I'm going to go to page layout, breaks, next page. All right, so here I am. The next page for this page I am going to put it in letter one column all right um, so this would be my contract of employment so let me adjust the margin so custom margin so this will be 1.5 top 1.5 left and 0 0.5 for the right I could say this section, but let me just say whole document. Because I'm a custom. All right, fine. I'm going to double click in the header. All right, I see link to previous. I'm going to uncheck that. And I'm going to head up um, contract of employment. All right, I'm going to tab across to get the candidate's name. Uh, let me check this seems as if the layout is still on portrait um landscape all right good so the name now is all right and tap this over all right we're winding down guys not to worry as i said the video is lengthy but it's a comprehensive video so I'm going to double click out of the header and I'm going to look for my contract and I'm going to paste the information for page one on page one. All right. Now, as you can see, the information went on to more than one page. So I need to take out the extra lines out of it. All right. And I'll do that and come back in a bit. All right, guys, so here it is. I've now tidied up this page by taking out all those extra lines that were there. I also realized that um, when I was setting the margin, I selected whole document, which should not have been. I should have selected this section, all right, and or this point forward, all right, because when I selected whole document, what that did was to change the margin for the entire document. So please ensure that when you're going through with yours, you do not select whole document for the ones that you have to change the margins for. You select this section or because they will come before anything coming after. All right, you can select um, this point forward. All right, but this section will be the best option. All right, so here it is. Everything is now on page one. I'm now going to go to page layout, breaks, next page here i am on the next page all right i'm going to double click in my header and i'm going to deselect link to previous all right and you know that for the second page we just have the numeral two all right and i'm going to close out and then i'm going to go to page layout and adjust my margins all right so it will be the reverse of what is here so left is 1.5 i'm now going to put left at 0.5 all right, 0 0.5 for left and 1.5 for the right margin. All right, and I'm going to select this section. Let us stay at this section. All right, please remember that and press OK. All right, so here it is. So I'm now going to look for the portion that goes with that and paste it. 
All right, so this looks okay for the most part. I am going to highlight it, however, and to ensure that it is in, it is justified. All right, let me go home. Yes, it is. All right, um, employer, I'm going to start this off from the, from the margin here. All right, and do the same for this one. All right, so that is it for the contract of employment. I'm going to quickly go to page layout, breaks next page all right and then i'm going to adjust this margin so margin i'm gonna well, this is my bill i'm gonna leave this at one inch all around all right double click in the header and i do not want it to be linked to previous and i'm going to take off the numeral tool and close out all right this is my reference page or my bibliography i have bibliography in my table of contents and let me just write that bibliography here all right and that's it all right bibliography is in alphabetical order etc all right so that is it so my document is now complete let me quickly scan from the top all right let me close out my clipboard and let us look at this document so here it is this is my cover page all right, my cover page coming down, my table of content, my title page, my two-page letter, page one, page two, properly headed, then my circular letter, with tear off slip, followed by my the report form of manuscript, all right, followed by my tabular work, followed by my notice and agenda followed by my chairman's agenda, followed by my invitation with a menu, which is followed by my flowchart, which is followed by my will with endorsement, which is followed by my contract of employment, which is followed by my bibliography. And that is it. Thank you very much if you got through to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you learned a lot. Hope this video can assist you to compile your portfolio. And see you in my next upload. Bye-bye.